So first I have these snazzy curved scissors, which were like the greatest investment I ever made. And I'm just going to cut the long hairs off their toes. He's being such a good boy, huh, Chaster? You go. And if you don't do the puppies perfect, it's okay because they're freaking cute as heck anyway. But this is just good for getting them used to the clippers. You're yeah, being a good boy. Yes. Okay, so then I'm going to take the clippers and I just put them. Mine have two settings, low and high. I'm just going to put them on the lower setting because they're not as loud, so they're not quite as scary for them. And then I try to hold them as straight as I can and just shave them right down their backbone. From right where their neck starts, right down their backbone. And then I'm going to kind of take the clippers and just do like half of them down the side. Like so. They're like, ooh, what is that? That feels funny. So. If you just like kind of tighten their skin a little bit, then you can get those little choppy parts there. Yeah, he's a good boy. And like I said, it doesn't matter if it's perfect because they're freaking adorable no matter what, huh? But this is good for you, huh, buddy? Yes, it's good for you. I just like to kind of hold them right here and kind of go straight down off that dome right there, like that. And I kind of hold their ears right like this. Good boy, Chaucer. And when they're being good, you want to tell them that they're being really good so they know. Good boy. You're a good boy. Okay, so now around their ears, I go the opposite direction of the fur because I like it to be really prominent of where their ears start. Good boy, Chaucer. Like that. And then, you know, you can kind of decide how you like it, but just kind of shave the top part of their ears there. And then kind of thin it out going the other way. Like this. See, that looks pretty darn good like that. Ooh. So now I'm going to take his little ear and I'm going to hold it up like this. And he's going to have a fit about it because he's silly. And we're just going to shave down to about where their shoulder blade is. Huh, Chaucer? It's okay, buddy. It's all right. Hold still. And then we want to get all this long hair here. Good boy. Oh, hold still. Hold still. Yes. So, <laughs> you funny boy. Right above their shoulder blade. Okay, buddy. And they're not really fans of this, usually, but it's good for them to get used to it because Cocker Spaniels have to get groomed a ton every couple months, huh? So you, and you're a beauty, aren't you? And we're gonna shave off his whiskers. Good boy, Chaucer. Right here. Look at that. Good boy. Good boy. We're getting right between his nose. Yes, you oh, oh, yeah, you handsome boy. And then we're gonna shave off right here. I know, what is that, huh? This is their first haircut, so they're like, what the heck is that? Good boy, Chaucer. And then we want to take the clippers right below their eye and shave that off really good. And like I said, it can kind of look choppy, so then you just have to go through and smooth it out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Does that tickle, huh? Yeah, it's a good boy. And lift up their neck here. It's okay. It's all right. And just kind of shave under their chins. That <laughs> started kicking again. <laughs> <laughs> so cute, huh, baby? Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah, oh, that feels good. 
Just get there. Tastes real good. And the, um, get around their neck to their shoulder blades all the way around. Just make it sort of even with where their shoulder blades are. Well, still, Mr. Choss. They really hate their tail them for some reason, but it's okay, buddy. Just kind of try to hold them up with your hands and try to make that fairly even with your line that you made. Good boy, Chaster. Whoops. Okay. So I'm going to shave the other side of him and then we'll show you what he looks like. 